Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Rakhi Cha. Today I'm going to do an acrylic pour on a wood piece. Um, this is a round piece of solid wood and I've just taped off the sides because I don't want, I, the wood is so beautiful that I want this um, edge of the wood uh, to remain as that uh, so that it look like a frame to the painting, the pour that I'm going to do on top. So, um, you know, I've, I love doing round pieces, but uh, unfortunately, I don't do them as often on canvas as they're very hard to frame and I like to frame my paintings. Uh, so I figured I had these pieces of round wood and I usually use them for resin art. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I make them into trays or platters or even wall art. And today I thought, why don't I just do a piece of wall art and I can, you know, it can be flexible as to what I use it for. So um, I'm going to acrylic pour this uh, top. Then when it dries, I'm going to give it a coat of resin and then decide what I'm going to use it for. So the colors that I've picked today are um, in sort of these lighter uh, jewel tones or you can say more pastel tones. Um, I've got uh, Liquitex Basics, some uh, Amsterdam paint, some System 3 acrylics uh, over here and also this orange that I found uh, which is by Pabio uh, Studio Acrylics and I haven't used this. It's uh, some leftover from a long time so I'm going to see how this um, you know mixes um, and so uh, here I have some gold so I like to give some metallic tint uh, to it so that's what the gold is going to do. I have cadmium yellow light hue, brilliant purple, I have bright aqua green then this is the orange cadmium, uh, I think it's called Imit uh, from Studio Acrylics. Then again, a light blue permanent and then an Amst and then a little bit of contrast with the Amsterdam black. I hope the black is not too much of a contrast for sort of these medium to light colors, um, but I think it might just give it the little pop that it needs. The base is going to be white so this is the titanium white by system 3 acrylics uh, by Dela and rooney so i'm going to mix these colors i mix them with just water and uh just in the white i might add some floatron just to give it a bit more uh, smoothness i feel than uh, a mix with water um you know that i get um water i love to just mix paints with water and keep it very very simple but sometimes i feel for the base when i've just mixed it um it doesn't mix you know as smoothly um as adding a little bit of floatron so that's why i'm going to do it with the base if i had mixed this a day ago or some time back then i think i wouldn't have bothered but um also i feel like i might get a bit more uh details in terms of cells and lacing uh, by varying the consistency a little bit. So I'm going to mix this. I eyeball everything, although I did do a video in which I show um, how much uh, water and paint um, uh, I use for my mixtures. And I'll link that in the description. So let me mix all of this together and let's get started.
just gorgeous. So guys, I've decided to do another one. So let's get some white down. So I'm overlapping the colors a bit differently.
I'm going to use less orange because the other one I felt turned, I mean, it was pretty, but it turned a lot of orange. Okay. Oh, I don't want these drips. So I'm just going to erase these with my hand. too much color here so I'm just gonna go with a little bit of white and a little bit on this side cells are just acting up crazy with this orange. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, I'm just wondering if I should blow this with my mouth or maybe just gently with the hair dryer. that purple to show up and the purple keeps dying on me but it's beautiful nonetheless that's pretty oh my god Just here.
try to push this. It explodes with cells. I like the way these tiny white cells soften that edge. Just getting those edges a little bit. I feel like the paint has run off. And the sides I've taped off, so I'm just going to peel off the tape because I want the wood frame to show. I'll peel the tray, um, the the tape off after it sort of sets a little bit. It's gorgeous. All right, let's get you guys in for a close up. That's the close up, guys. crazy stuff going on here. Did not expect it to explode like this. And this is no additives. This is just painted water. I think I just played around with the consistency a little bit. The softer edges and this vibrant uh, middles. The turquoise and the purple sort of sunk down, I think, in this one but it did show up in my next painting that I'm going to take you in for a close-up for. Because I lay layered the colors a bit different in this one. I started with the purple, even though not much of it showed. But wherever it showed, it's just done this beautiful with the white and I just love it. And a little bit there. And the turquoise is a bit more prominent. So it made it a little bit greenish in tinge. It's definitely lighter than what's my uh, phone is picking it up slightly, but not that much, but slightly darker. Those are the two pieces. I think they'll go very well together. Um, I am going to decide uh, once uh, I start to resin this after it dries, whether I want to keep them as platters with handles if I want to add, or um, should they be like serving trays just like this, or even wall art. I'm not sure. Um, I think maybe wall art, I'm not sure but they are just stunning. I'm so happy with these results. Guys, please like, please subscribe. Don't forget to do that. And see you back in the next video. I'll show this, uh, how these two pieces dry and I'll make it part of this video. And um, maybe uh, once I start to resin this also, I'll make that a separate video and I'll um, have you guys um, back into that to see how I finish up these two pieces. Bye guys. Thank you for being with me. Lots of love. Bye.